Well, this was a fail. So I wasn't missing anything at all. You know, I pulled out all the stops to play, you know, the Kareem Love Boss that I was so excited about. And uh, so this is the roll. It's off uh, the gig. So far, the pilot is called, you know, Chinese Food It Could Change. And there it is, me, Megumi Hosegai. And I am rumored still on IMDb. Everyone else, like their name is just there. But I think like rumored makes me actually seem more famous. I really like the rumored. So, uh, so anyway, I'm rumored to be in this thing. And I was so excited. And uh, I ordered these tits. And I also went out of my way to get cigarettes. You know, because a mob boss has to smoke, obviously. And she's Korean. And, you know, I had quit smoking years ago when I came back from school in New Orleans. And cigarettes were like 10 fucking bucks in LA. I just couldn't afford to smoke anymore, so I quit cold turkey a long time ago, and um, I googled fake cigarettes, Los Angeles, and like I couldn't find um, any place, but I found out that this brand, Honey Rose London, this is the brand of fake cigarettes that they smoke on Mad Men. So I looked into the company, and I was like, where in LA do you sell them? And I had to be on hold, and then they finally told me, so then I found the smoke shop like on Yelp, and then they didn't have a website, so then I called them, and they don't answer the phone, so then I had to wait, call back, call back, because I wasn't going to drive all the way to the valley without knowing, in fact, that it was there. And you know, all this would have been so much simpler if the freaking smoke shop person had, you know, like a zoo bubble store the way I have a zoo bubble store for Megumi O. And, you know, they even have zoo bubble stores for other smoke shops. So, uh, you know, they have it like on buy and sell and, you know, she should really buy a store from me to, you know, promote these cigarettes because if you were just smoke promoting fake sugar in LA, you would think everyone needs fake cigarettes in LA and so far they just know about this product. So, you know, if you want a zoo bubble store like mine, let me show you my zoo bubble store because it's really the best one. This is my zoo bubble store and um, all of the keywords like Asian fit sunglasses, universal fit eyewear, and polarized Jackie O sunglasses. I've stuffed all my keywords in because I know what the fuck I'm doing. But you could do one yourself if you know what you're doing. But if you don't, I'll build one for you. Just hit me up at Zoo Bubble. It tastes just like cigarettes. But you don't really feel anything. So anyway, these are very, very cool. And the tits, um, the tits, by the way, this whole thing was about the tits. It's not really what I expected, but you know, it's as good as it gets for, I guess, like five bucks and including shipping, it was like less than $10. And it did come, um, I would say within like three days, because it went from like Ontario, California to Hollywood. But um, yeah, so I would give the, it's, you know, if it was a silicone bra insert, I would give it um, a B plus, you know, for like five bucks. What can you expect, right? As a push-up bra for a strapless thing, I would give it like, you know, nothing. Let me put out the cigarettes really quick because I have to show you that. So you have to see what the tits are going to be like without it, right? So if you take out this and you push the real tits together, I think it's actually better than having this. So I think if you're looking for like volume and you're inserting it in a real bra, it's fine, but it's not really a push-up bra. So as a push-up bra, this gets an F. 